Continuing to field questions for us, Amelia, I have a student from within our Telegram group saying, a lot of people on Reddit are facing score drops on 2CK. I know many of you are suing for step one. Relax. I'll address this as well. Student says, a lot of people on Reddit are facing score drops for 2CK. Their NBMEs were 260s and ended up scoring 230s. So for those of you studying for step one and step two, can I briefly address this notion of score drops? Okay, this is worrisome. OMG. Okay, do I have any points on this? And I can provide you with some clean value here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M E H L M A N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So students asking about uh, he or she's read on Reddit about students who've faced a drop in score. Uh, and in this case, uh, 260s and end ending up with 230s. And my response is, it's not fucking true, okay? That's going to get some students real fucking heated and emotional right now, okay? If there's one way you want to get some students worked up, it's telling them that it's not going to happen when their scores can just drop like that because there'll be one student out of 200 who might say, no, fuck you. I scored 265 and I ended up with a 230, okay? I said one student out of 200. It doesn't fucking happen 99.5% of the time. You would have to be exceedingly unlucky. The NBMEs don't lie. The NBME forms are not subjective. They're not speculative. They're objectively the same questions as the real US simile. So when you take, let's say, for step one, okay, yes, yeah, step one and step two we're talking about here, but if you take NBME 27, you get a 235. You take NBME 28 and you get a 239. Yes, that's the same as the real US simile. There's going to be fluctuation like that. But you're not going to take NBME 27, get a 235, take NBME 28, and get a 184. Doesn't fucking happen, okay? It's a pass fail exam, but we're talking about hypothetical internal score equivalents. So for a student to drop significantly, uh, when we talk about 30, 40 points, okay, this notion that gets people real worked up, I would say there's usually a catch in place. Okay, it'll be a scenario where if I were to meet with the student and they say, no, you don't understand, I dropped like 40 points and I actually uh, chat more in depth, the student will be like, oh, well, actually, yeah, I did one block from that exam like nine months ago, but I didn't remember it. And I'm like, yeah, fucking exactly. Okay. So in general, the, the point, what's, what's the point of consolidation of this clip, right? The point is that if you're worried that you have NBME scores uh, that whether they're just above borderline pass, etc., you're concerned that you're reading things, e.g., on Reddit about a possible significant decline in score into the real deal. Recognize that it's exceedingly fucking rare. Okay, your NBME exams don't lie. Your NBME exams are your real USMLE score. Okay, and for step one, uh, the pass, uh, obviously the internal score equivalent, but it's a pass exam. So. The NBMEs don't lie, okay? You'd have to be exceedingly unlucky, very rare to experience a significant score drop. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time.